Hi Virgo Sun Moon or Ascendant, this is Dane and I'm going to be doing your November 21st to the 30th, 2018 reading for you. Now as you can see, I am using different cards for the very first time on this channel other than the Llewellyn Tarot deck. These are the Biddy Tarot deck, they're minis which I love because they fit in my hands so well. I have smaller hands and so these I find really easy to shuffle and use. They're also gorgeous and very simple in their designs, but so stunning. So I hope you enjoy them as much as I'm enjoying using them. And now we're going to see what these 10 days have in store for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. Oh, and I hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day. And I wish you guys nothing but happiness, always. Okay, so let's see. Oh, goodness what these 10 days have in store for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Oh, I love it. I love it because he looks like Zeus. These cards have a very kind of Greco-Roman, Egyptian feel to them, some of them. More Egyptian, very classical mythology. This is beautiful. Okay. Okay, learning truths, having understanding given to you. Your two major arcana cards are in your clarifying cards, which is really beautiful because it means that the overarching theme of all these, of these 10 days are astoundingly powerful and just very much at your center. There are three people here, a bunch of people, because it's like half the reading, right? In the main part of it. So there are, there's a sense of evolution of self here with knowing your mind and knowing what it is that you want. Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. After a time of struggle, after a time of really feeling as if you are always having to defend yourself. Yeah. And there's moving forward in love. It's almost as if you're, you're leaving something behind. You're sitting there and saying, you know what, no more. And you're balancing everything. But you are moving forward in what you love and what you desire and how you want to live your life. Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Not how everybody else wants you to live your life. It's almost as if you're saying, you know what, no more. I know what I want. I know who I am. And that's being said here with the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords can represent an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. But this is also you because this reading is about you. This is you embracing your truth, being a master of what it is that you desire and what it is that you know. And I do love that he looks like Zeus because it's just such a powerful card. So it's really saying here that you are focusing on your mind. You're focusing on the way you see your reality, not the way everybody else sees it. If you know Greek mythology, Zeus, who can sometimes and most of the times be a jerk, not saying that you guys are at all, but he never lets kind of anybody else's opinion get in his way of knowing what he knows, of doing what he wants to do. And that's kind of what you're doing, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Sun. And it isn't saying that you're being egotistical. It isn't saying that you're not listening to reason, but it is saying that you're using your counsel and your judgment to cut away doubts and fears and to lead yourself forward. It's as if nobody is going to hold you back. You know what you want because you have been a student of what it is that you desire. And you know what it is that you desire. You know how it is that you want to move forward. And even if you're sitting there and saying, Dane, I don't know what it is that I want. I am so confused and everything is so overwhelming. There's a part of you deep down inside. And if you step back and you kind of center yourself just a little bit and you take out all the confusion and all the commotion that is around you, because there's a lot of commotion around you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and you sit there and you say, I want, and just let the silence fall. Because what is it that you want? And it'll start to be filled in. I want, and then just let the silence fall because you'll start to hear what it is that you want. And at first you might think, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous, you know? And it could be something as simple as, I want a million dollar, dollars, okay? So if you break that down, you want financial security, you want prosperity, you want success, okay? You want ease of living. So you know what it is that you want, even if they, it comes to you in these broad, vast statements or in something that you think is completely unobtainable. If you can boil it down and get to the heart of the matter, that brings you more reason, that brings you more understanding, and that brings you more power of self and power of mind. Because there's a sense here of you having endless prosperity, but the waters are choppy and you feel a bit off balanced and overwhelmed. So know that even though you're gaining your reason, you're gaining your understanding and you are moving forward in your truth, 
Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you do feel unbalanced at times. You do feel as if your prosperity is never going to be smooth sailing. It's always going to be something you have to fight for. It's always going to be something that emotionally is in turmoil. But you have this endless prosperity to your existence. Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. It could be in wealth. It could be something you value as much as money. Because right now, it's as if you're not fighting a battle to know what it is that you want, but as if you're it's kind of as if you're proving yourself, not to maybe anybody but yourself, that you can that you can achieve, that you can do it, that you can succeed in the way that you want to succeed, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You're not letting doubts and fears and other people stand in your way. So know that this endless prosperity is coming. It's just a sense of you having to juggle it. It's just a sense of you gaining this greater understanding of calming the waters, of calming the emotions around you, of having your feet firmly planted on the ground and knowing what it is that you desire. Because here, and what I love about this, is that the tip of her wand is on fire, okay? So she's fighting with all her passion, with all her desire to have people see and, ha and defend what it is that she wants in life. So these wands here, with the seven of wands, are coming at her, are sitting there, and not sitting there, but are trying to break her down, trying to defeat her. So there's a sense that people around you aren't building you up the way that you would desire, or that you're not seeing the success that you have in your life. You're seeing all the obstacles that you have to overcome, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You're seeing the next phase, the next time, everything that is that has to still be done. But your passion is lighting your way. Your passion can light the opposition on fire. Don't think of this as being fueled by anger. Think of this as being fueled by passion and nothing can be done in life. Well, done well and done to a beauty or a symphony of existence without passion behind it. It's, it has a lackluster if there is no passion. And you are passionately achieving what it is that you want. But know that if you spend all your time defending what it is that you're passionate about, trying to get other people to understand what it is that you want from life, you're going to waste your energy. And you're going to be using your energy on things, on people that don't matter. Focus on what you desire. Know that you have the high ground. And as we know from Star Trek, no, Star Wars, that if you have the high ground, you are going to win. And that you are winning. That you are succeeding. That you are achieving. And these people who are going to oppose you, their passion, their creativity, their lives just might be in opposition to yours. I don't say just lightly, but there are some people who will never, ever, ever in a thousand million years see eye to eye with you. Or to see eye to eye with what you want from life. Our souls will be, their souls will just be in opposition to yours because that's part of the lesson that you have, you have to learn, that we all have to learn as individuals, that there are some people there who are just meant to be kind of thorns in our side, but think of it as an oyster. Think of it as that grain of sand being caught in your mouth because that's how pearls are made. Pearls aren't made through a beautiful, wonderful experience. It's made through an oyster getting a bit of sand caught in its mouth and it trying and trying and trying to get rid of it so it coats it with mucus and coats it with mucus so that it stops irritating the oyster's mouth it's an irritant that actually becomes something priceless the fact that you have to fight for what it is that you want the fact that you have to sit there and say this is what I desire is making you stronger and better and it's giving you the passion that you need to succeed because you now have your armor on and I love that his armor is made up of fish okay his robe you have your armor on. You know the darker side of human nature. You know that not everybody's going to agree with you or be on your side. You have here this cup that was a gift from the divine, from the universe, and that you are moving forward with. Slowly and steadily, moving forward, obtaining your love, your joy, your prosperity. I had one reader explain the cup to me as, when I was learning the tarot, as the Holy Grail, as a gift that is beyond our comprehension and beyond the realm of our beauty, to understand, being given to us. And that's what you're doing. You're having this gift of prosperity and joy and love and peace and serenity being given to you. And you are slowly and steadily moving forward with it. It's not all at once being able to charge forward and saying, I know what's right and I know what I want from life. It's sitting there and bit by bit, slowly moving forward, embracing love and peace and harmony. Because here in this earthly realm, there is so much opposition to love. There is so much opposition to joy. And serenity of self and that's why you have your armor on 
because you know you will be met with this opposition and you know you are going to be able to defend yourself against it, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And as you move forward in love, as you move forward in joy, as it gives you wings and as your kind of emotions are calm and settled and you steadily move forward, you embrace being a student of what it is that you desire. And remember, you go from being a student to being a master of sitting there and knowing what it is that you want. Again, you have wings. You see that on his feet, the little wings and a sandal. Think of Apollo. You have yourself being given the wings. You have the ability to fly and to succeed. You just have to focus on what it is that you want. Knowing your mind, knowing what you desire is what's going to lead you forward. There's also going to be messages coming your way that are going to help bring clarity and success to you. And as you move forward, as you embrace what you want, you take all your knowledge and all your understanding with the Six of Swords and you move on to the unknown. And it's embracing, it's embracing the the mysteries that are coming because no matter how many readings we have no matter how much insight we have the unknown is the future is always unknown there's always going to be variables that can't be predicted and this is you sitting there and you embracing your wisdom and your guidance and moving forward know that you are blessed know that this is the next phase in your adventure and even though you might not be really psyched for it because they look kind of solemn here that it's actually going to be better than you ever expected. And it's going to bring you a sense of prosperity and a sense of abundance. It's all coming because your clarifying cards are beautiful. They are the high priestess and the magician. And now, depending on how you look at the tarot, you can say that the high priestess and the magician can be paired, you know, or the perfect pair. I like the high priestess and the hermit because both of them are very kind of solitary, but both here are people, are is the ability to use your personal magic, quote unquote, your, that bit of divinity within you to gain reason, understanding, and to manifest the destiny that you desire. The high priestess looks inward. The high priestess follows her, her wisdom, her joy, the combination of light and dark, that balance of existence, and moves forward in that truth. Wisdom at your center, beauty and prosperity at your center. The magician can manifest his future, has all the tools of the tarot on his work table, holds up the wand of victory, knows that as above, so below, as he thinks it, so it will be. Again, that eternity symbol right here is coming to play, meaning that you have absolute an infinity of knowledge here, of abundance, of prosperity coming your way, and it's you embracing it. It's you moving forward in that infinity, in that prosperity. It's embracing the wisdom and the magic of what's to come. And I do say magic as not, again, hocus pocus, but as embracing that bit of divinity, that bit of the universe that lives inside each and every one of us, knowing that we are made of stardust, that we are so much more than we could ever imagine. And you are moving forward in that knowledge and in that understanding, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And nothing is holding you back. It's almost as if the veil is being lifted from your eyes. And now, because that veil is lifted, because you are moving forward in your harmony of understanding, you are able to manifest the destiny that you desire and use all your tools, all your prosperity, all your talents to achieve what it is that you have always wanted. And this is doing so on a scale where people notice because the, the magician is in front of an audience, is in front of an altar. This is where people see you. And this is being able to use that wisdom that is usually kept quiet and kept secret within yourself that guides you forward and is kind of like your conscious, that guided light and bringing it to the surface and letting people see that you are obtaining what it is that you deeply desire, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Okay. Yeah. Because it's page, knight, king. You have this progression. And though, you know, you could sit there and say this should be the knight of, of swords, the knight of cups is here to show you that your mind and your heart are coming together. Your mind and your soul are coming together to get you what you want. You're moving forward. Okay, you're embracing the unknown, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You're also embracing your endless prosperity, but there is a sense of kind of water, not waters, but emotions running high. And you're sitting there, kind of sitting there and saying, how is it that I'm going to move forward? How is it that I'm going to achieve what it is that I want? And it's because you're passionate. You're passionate about what you're creating and what you are embracing. And by doing so, you're focusing on what it is that you desire and you're being a student of what it is that you desire, but you're also looking at your prosperity, knowing that there is an infinity of 
of wealth and something you value as much as money coming your way. It's almost as if you have to, you have to believe it. And you don't quite believe it yet, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You don't quite believe that things could be moving forward the way that you have so been fighting for them to be. Don't waste your energy fighting. There are some people that are never going to understand, that are never going to wish you well. And that's sad to say. And that might be what you're mourning here as you move forward, knowing that you can't make everybody happy, but you're making yourself happy. What is it, that song, you can't please everyone, so you have to please yourself? That's funny. Because, yeah, that's exactly it. You can't please everyone. You have to please yourself. And so you are alight with passion for what it is that you desire. You're going to defend yourself. That wand turns into a sword. You're defending yourself. You're cutting down those who are opposing you and you are moving forward in your truth. You're being a student of what it is that you desire. You're embracing what it is that you love. Knowing that as you are achieving something so very special to you, something that means so much to you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and it's going to be different for each and every one of you, because this is a general reading, you become a master of knowing your own mind. And it's your divine right, because that's what kings and queens have, a divine right to be exalted and anointed above all others. But it is your divine right to move forward, knowing your mind and being absolutely confident in what it is that you want and how it is that you're creating your life. So it's this progression and it's this complete understanding of love. But it's also this vitality of love surrounding you being able to defend it, being able to move forward in it as you create the world the way that you want to, as you create your world the way that you want it. This, isn't, this doesn't mean that everything's going to go smoothly. It doesn't mean that everything's going to be perfect 150% of the time. It means that you're coming into balance. You're taking and you're lifting the veil from your eyes. You're moving forward in your truth and in your wisdom and in your balance of understanding. Okay, And you are using all your talents, all your abundance to embrace the infinity of your wisdom. As above, so below. Be careful of what you think and what you say because it's going to start to manifest in your life more and more often. And then you have subconsciously the fool. You are embracing the next phase of your journey. You are embracing the unknown, but you are also embracing the innocence of your soul. Okay? This is before life weighs you down. This is before you know that things can go wrong. In the tarot, it all starts with the fool. It all starts with the kind of youthful expectation of success. And that's what you're embracing, your expectation of success, your infinity of prosperity. You're being warned not to just think that things are going to succeed. By this little dog here, the angels are guiding you and telling you not to walk off the cliff, to be mindful of where you step, to be mindful of what you want, to be mindful of where you're going, and to embrace the innocence of absolutely obtaining your wish. Think of this as a dandelion puff and you're going to blow on it. See this wand here that you use to defend yourself is not being used as a weapon, it's being used as a tool to hold your, your you know, belongings. You are embracing the next phase of your journey and you're embracing a new beginning. Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Be wise, be mindful, and know that you are moving forward in absolute prosperity. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. I hope you have enjoyed the reading and the cards as much as I have enjoyed reading for you. All right. Bye.